Hey YouTube, got another quick one for you today. Um, I've been having all kinds of problems with my Xterra. Um, had a hard time figuring out what's going on, but I think I finally do have it figured out. Um, when I run the engine, it starts off at 15 RPM, and then just slowly ascends to around 2000, drops down to 1700, goes up to 2000. Um, I thought maybe I had some coolant in the system, I'm sorry, some air in my coolant system from removing all of this uh, many times. Um, I also changed my idle air controller, um, which reminds me, I gotta reset that back to what it was. I kinda adjusted the screw a little bit, so I'm gonna back that off to where it was. But what actually I believe is the culprit is my throttle position sensor. Um, also, when I was driving this thing, the one time I did drive it, I had some shifting issues. It didn't want to shift. Um, it would rev really high and then hard shift into some gears. Um, so if you're experiencing anything like that, um, this may be your culprit. Um, you can test for it before you just go and buy one, although they're not too expensive. I can't remember what I spent on mine. Um, most people on the forums do recommend Hitachi. I think I have an aftermarket one. I'll know if it's bad. Um, so basically on this um, brown or you know dark orange connector, whatever color you want to call it, um, the middle pin, it's a blue wire. You want to take a paper clip, make sure it isn't uh, covered in plastic. Mine wasn't, I just scraped it off with a utility knife. Um, and shove that in past the rubber grommet all the way in. Plug your connectors in and then uh, turn your car to the on position, don't start it. And then take a voltmeter, set it to whatever DC volts you can to get some decimals here. And then uh, put your positive lead on the paper clip. And for me, a gr good ground was over here on this screw. I tried the throttle body in a couple of the places and I wasn't getting a reading. Um, it should be, I believe, between 0.3 and 0.8 volts. Um, this one was actually reading about two volts whenever it was just sitting here. So I'm really um, guessing that that is why my idle is running high. I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out um, while I got you here. Um, these bolts haven't been removed in 20 years, whatever, um, 22 years, I think. So to get them out, I used this um, socket adapter with a PH2 Phillips head. Um, and this is a wobble socket, and then I adapt it up to uh, you know, my three-quarter drive, um, and then I just pushed really hard on the back of this, and then slowly turned it, and waited for the bolt to crack, and it, it cracked. The top one, I actually used my uh, manual impact to break it, because I could get in there with that, um, and it was easy to bust that one loose, but yeah, this is how I got that one bottom bolt out if you're uh, wondering how you can get a phillips screwdriver on it at a slight angle like it's at every 15 degree angle and you could break it loose if it's not seized up but this stuff's old um so yeah that's pretty much it i also grabbed this off uh i think amazon it's a uh bleeder setup for your uh coolant system the coolant just bubbles up through here the air bubbles come up through um, once it warms up, the coolant expands, um, and then once all the air bubbles stop coming, you just wait for it to cool down and the level will drop back down. Um, or alternatively, they come with this nice little stopper. If you don't want to wait, you can shove that in there and then take the fluid out and dump it. Uh, just be careful, it's very hot. All right, so I'm gonna change that out and verify that that is my problem. All right, guys, so when you replace this, um, this has a fin tab here and this moves with the throttle body that pin you want this tooth right here sticking out to be on the outside of that so you could just start up high and twist it down until you make contact and then set your screws and then after that we'll go through calibrating it okay guys so with the new tps sensor in i did have to clean out some corrosion to get this thing to actually pop in um as well as I sprayed a little bit of liquid wrench on it. Um, you leave your pin in there the whole time. You loosely tighten these bolts so this thing doesn't come out and then you can shimmy it up and down to change um, where your idle's going to be at. Um, but the numbers you wanna be looking for 
or something around this. I've just got this tag to the ground terminal. It's just, it's just easier. I've got a better reading. Um, so yeah, 0.48 volts. You want to be somewhere in between um, 0.3 and 0.8, I believe the numbers are. Um, so this should be sufficient to get it started. And then if I feel that I need an adjustment, um, I'll just go over here and uh, shimmy this a little bit, just slide it a little bit one way and tighten the bolts back down again. But uh, this should be good enough for me to start it and see if this was really my issue. So I'll let you guys know.